Welcome to Chris's Storytelling Corner. This is Christopher Moldong. Today, I'm going to do a movie review for the Chinese movie, Beautiful Accident. Be sure to check out my reading of my short story, The Next Level, as well. Next time, I'll have a manga review for Your Lie in April, Volumes 1-3, to a list for the top katana users in anime and manga, and in a few weeks, a movie review for Spider-Man Homecoming. You can check out my author's website at www.chrismodon.com. You can buy my first novel, a fantasy adventure called The Mustard Prince in the Condiment Kingdom, for $4.99. Also, for $2.99, you can buy my short story collection, a collection of 10 short stories into horror, fantasy, and realistic fiction genres. Check out my Twitter page and the author's Facebook page. Links to all these will be provided in the description. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment to this channel if you're on YouTube, or follow, share, and comment on this channel if you're listening to this on SoundCloud. If you're listening to this on iTunes or Stitcher, please rate, review, and sh share this channel. So here's the uh, synopsis for Beautiful Accident. A uh, single and career-driven attorney is given a second chance in life following a fatal car crash. In the span of seven days, she finds herself taking on a new life where she assumes the role of a housewife, taking care of her architect husband and two children. So if you guys don't know already um this is actually a remake of a korean movie called wonderful nightmare and i actually did see wonderful nightmare like pretty much a year ago um so i kind of knew what to expect coming in um i'm reviewing more chinese movies as you can see because amc is now bringing out um asian pacific movies uh regularly so i'll probably do a couple um movie reviews and watch some of these movies the way that this is going to work is i'm going to do a recap of what happens and then i'll get my thoughts on the movie itself and uh even do a little compare and contrast with the original uh, wonderful nightmare so, here's a movie review for, a recap part, for Beautiful Accident. Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to butcher some names, by the way. Uh, Yi Yuran works on a case where a teenage boy attacked a girl, and she is hired by the boy's family. They make a, dear, a deal where the boy isn't found at fault. Uh, Lee Yuran then visits her mother's grave and talks about her strange father, who also died. She then gets into a car accident and ends up in the Terminal of Fate, where she meets the station master Wang Jin, Jing Chun, who tells her that her death is a mistake and that she should have lived longer. They make a deal for her to take the place of someone who also mistakenly died, and she reluctantly agrees. She then wakes up next to a stranger back on Earth, named Zhang Tao, and is a housewife with two children. Their son, uh, Tian Tan, uh, I think it's Tian, Tian Tan, uh, already picks up that she's not his real mom and helps her get acclimated to the situation. She slowly grows to accept and, and like her new situation. Um, she goes with her husband to a work function. Uh, her husband has some concerns about the materials that the company is using. He works in construction, but his manager doesn't want to hear it. Lee Yuran uh, speaks with the manager's boss, and her husband then gets assertive with the manager. Uh, they then go, Lee Yuran and her husband, uh, Zhang Tao, uh, get drinks and uh, seemingly get along uh, very well. At home, they try to make love. But here's something. Uh, it's their daughter, Zing Zing. Or, yeah, I, I think it's Zing Zing. It's revealed that their daughter, Zing Zing, was attacked by her boyfriend. Uh, then uh, Zing Zing's father, Li Yuan's husband, goes and 
attacks the boyfriend the next day. The lawyer asks to hide the situation under the rug, but Lee Hiran says that she will get revenge unless he apologizes. The boyfriend then tries, or former boyfriend now, tries to attack Lee Hiran, but she gets the better of him and he apologizes. Um, early in the movie, it's revealed that she actually practices some martial arts. So Lee Hiran takes uh, Tan Tan to the bus stop to go to school, but he suddenly can't see. She then takes him to the hospital, but he is in need of surgery. Uh, Wang Jinchun, uh, the station master, appears and tells Li Yuran that she only has an hour left. Um, that she only had seven hours with this family. Or seven days, excuse me, seven days with this family. She then says her goodbyes and leaves in the car with the Wang uh, Jinchun. Uh, Wang Jinchun reveals that he knew her father and asked for forgiveness. They then go back to the scene of the car crash. Li Yuran wakes up in the hospital. She then runs around town looking for her old family but can't find them. When she was, uh, during that s seven days, that, that family. Her sister then visits with her child. Li Yuran finds an old photograph and a picture of her father uh, is that of Wang Jinchun. So, on a plane, she meets uh, Zhang uh, by himself, but with no kids, and single. They exchange phone numbers and talk. So, some thoughts on the movie. Um, it's a good movie. It's, it's fun. If you haven't seen Wonderful Nightmare, I think you'd enjoy it. Um, you know, it's got... Com I'd categorize this movie under romantic drama. Um, it, it's a good movie. I, I don't think, it, I wouldn't consider it great. I would say it's a C, C plus. Um, it is, a, like I said, it's a remake of the Korean movie, Wonderful Nightmare. And I'm just going to say it right now. Uh, I would say Wonderful Nightmare is closer to a B minus to a B. So I do find Wonderful Nightmare to be a lot better than... Uh, beautiful accident. Um, there are a couple things that Wonderful Nightmare does that uh, Beautiful Nightmare doesn't do. One is that uh, with Beautiful Nightmare, a lot of things get cut cut down. I think this was shorter in general, so they didn't get to dwell on a lot of things. Um, one difference is that Lee Ron's character in Wonderful Night uh, in Beautiful Accident doesn't hang out with the other housewives. In Wonderful Nightmare, uh, she does hang out to housewives, gets along with them, befriends them, and um, that's one way that she starts getting acclimated to her situation and likes her situation. There's also a side plot involving the renovation of the district that they live in. I think they were going to, like, destroy it. Um, yeah, destroy buildings or, or whatnot, something like that. It's been a year since I watched it, but that side plot is now gone. Uh, as far as Lee Yuron's husband goes, there was a lot more uh, character development with him. Uh, that got cut down by a lot. Um, there's actually a scene where Xing Xing, uh, well, in the Korean version, I forgot her name. But she actually goes to her boyfriend's house, and then, then you actually see like a bunch of the boyfriend's friends gang up on her. Uh, she manages to escape though, and it's the mom and the daughter confronting the lawyer, the boyfriend, and the boyfriend's mom. And this one, it's the husband, the mom, and then. Uh, Confronting the lawyer, the, the boyfriend, and the boyfriend's mom. Uh, so that was different as well. Um, the endings changed too. I, I gotta say, I, I'll i just say it right now. I wasn't big on the ending for... Um, wasn't big on the ending for Beautiful Nightmare for one big reason. And, it go, and that's because it goes against what a lot of the movie was premised, uh, was built around. I mean, the first connection that Li Yuran makes is with her son, with the son, uh, Tian Tian. And, you know, he's not there. 
in this version. In Wonderful Nightmare, actually, what happens is she gets on a plane to Australia, and the family is actually on the same plane, and it's the son that actually, like, bumps into her, and she recognizes him, and then she starts talking to, to uh, well, in this case, it's Zhang, but, um, you know, former husband, I guess, I guess you can call it. In this version, I didn't like that they didn't have the kids because she actually makes most of her connections with her the two children um, before making a relationship with, like, the husband, really, uh, especially with her son. So it, it's it kind of doesn't make sense because they're the ones that kind of turned her around, the kids. And now that they're not there, it's kind of weak, you know, in a sense. It's like, well, you know, if anything, she had a better relationship with the son than with the husband, you know. So there are things like that that um, Wonderful Nightmare will dwell into just a bit more. Uh, also, the revelation that the station master um, is the father it's a little more, in my opinion, more effective in Wonderful Nightmare in that he actually does visit her time to time, but he also reveals how much time she has left. And I think in Wonderful Nightmare also, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say she had 30 days. Whereas in Beautiful Accent, it's 7 days. Could be wrong. I just, I just remember it being longer. Um, but... Yeah, that's uh, those are the differences. Like I said, I tend to like Wonderful Nightmare quite a bit more. Um, Lee Ron, as far as the movie goes and the characters go, um, Lee Ron, I thought she played it well. You know, um, I I'm actually currently watching a Chinese drama, and I know this is with K drama too. I'm, I'm actually watching Love O Two O right now, and um, it's there's a certain style of acting that seems to be utilized in the TV drama that I'm watching that's here. And, and I, I can't help but feel that they're in this movie the, with the acting. Um, my friend who actually took some acting classes said that they're playing to the intention. Uh, so you can see some really like they'll stand there and be angry and just kind of stand there for a while it's very expressive um it's almost there's a sense of like tv acting here i guess i don't know I, i'm being pretty harsh it wasn't bad though like i said i got a couple laughs and, and whatnot it was you know it, it was a fun movie nonetheless um as a character you know she was the main character you know everyone else truly was a side character there wasn't like as far as like airtime goes, it really is just her and everyone else. Um, she played her, her part fine, you know. Uh, I did like the station master though. Uh, I thought he was just. They made him a bit funnier here, I guess. So I did like that. Like he's hiding underneath a potted plant or like dressing up in, in this, uh, taking the place of this old woman. Uh, so I thought he, he was a bit funnier and a bit more expressive. Uh, but, you know, I liked his character. Uh, Xing Xing. I'm really glad that the attack that happened to her and the follow-up meeting with the boyfriend, the lawyer, and the mom um, seemed to be a strong part in this movie as it was in Wonderful Nightmare. Both scenes were strong. Um, she used her lawyer savvy to her advantage in this situation. She also does it in a wonderful nightmare. A wonderful nightmare, actually, she uses her, like, her lawyer savvy and her, like, martial arts skills a bit more. Like I said, so, the thing with wonderful nightmares is there's just more. That's the thing. It's this movie, but with more. And things are a little more drawn out. Um, but it was still a really strong scene and very karmic too, so I really like that. And, and really, this whole movie is, is like one big thing about karma. You know, it's like what com you know what comes around goes around type of deal. And, and it did literally in this movie, 
as far as that scene goes, the daughter getting attacked, um, just her being this independent woman and then like not caring about anyone else till like it goes around to like her being a housewife responsible for other people, you know, not just living for herself. So that was one of the big themes here. It's, it's very like a karmic movie in a sense. So, um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, if you like this, don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment to this channel if you're on YouTube, or follow, share, and comment on this channel if you're listening to this on SoundCloud. If you're listening to this on iTunes or Stitcher, please rate, review, and share this channel. Thank you for listening to this movie review. Next week, I will have a manga review for Your Lion April, volumes 1-3. to three. A uh, list of top katana users in anime and manga. And in a few weeks, a movie review for Spider-Man Homecoming. Thank you, and until next time.